welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to configure a static ip address on a windows server 2022 so here we have a windows server 2022 if i go to windows version you can see i'm using a windows server 2022 so i want to actually configure a static ip address on this server so as you may know you don't actually uh, configure your server to receive his IP address from a TCP server, which of course is not advisable from Microsoft. So let's go to our local server on our server manager. And here you can see we have our internet zero. So I just have one internet address, um, internet on this device. So let's just select the internet and then double click on the network card. And here you can see if i go to if i go to details you can see the ip address i'm using right now so what you need to do is to go to properties and on our properties you can see we have the tcp ip version 4 and we have the tcp ip version 6. so here we can decide to actually use obtain this uh, enter this manually but i want to actually configure the tcp ip version 4. so what you need to do is you need to go to your properties so click your properties and in properties you will need to use use the following ip address so what we need to do is we need to enter an ip address let me just enter the following ip address 2168245239 and then the subnet mask will be obtained automatically and the default gateway you need to know the default gateway of your router which of course grants you access to the internet without you enter, uh, entering the default gateway you may not have access to the internet so let's just enter the following default gateway and also our default gateway is also going to be our dns for this server so but mind you if you are working in a very big company you may have a different server that is being used for your dns server so you need to know your dns server to which you're going to use to be preferred dns and also and also you would probably have a secondary dns a primary and a secondary dns server just the way you have a primary domain controller and a secondary domain controller so let's just click ok and here we're going to click close and then when you click close you can go to your details here and view the ip address you just entered so let's just click close and close let me close this back again so if you go if you if you're not seeing the ip address here the right ip address after changing it you can just go and click refresh after clicking refresh then you're going to see your ip address being displayed here thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video my name is kelvin johnson this is how you actually configure a static ip address on a windows server 2022 bye